this is an experiment to see how simple and cheap solo role playing can be. Um, the system I am using is based on my Daft um, Oracle. Um, how it works here, you ask a question, uh, a 4 to 6 is a plus, a 1 to 3 is a minus, so um, is the door open? That is three pluses, that is three yeses, so yes, the door is open. Now, when you try to do a thing, so this character Bjorn Turun, he's a bit of a warrior, so he has a strength of one and a skill of zero and knowledge of zero. So when he does a strength roll, can he force open this door? He rolls his dice, he gets three minuses, so that's a definite no. But as he has a strength of one, that means he gets one re-roll, which is a bit like um, Fallout the board game. So he, he can re-roll his dice, all of them, and he gets one success and two failures. So he still cannot manage to open the door even with his re-roll. He has a sidekick called Watney, who is a giant rat. Um, he has a skill of one, so that's his uh, specialty. So when he tries uh, anything involving agility, dexterity, stealth, he will get a re-roll if he fails. Um, Bjorn has a health of five, he has a big axe, and uh, Watney has a health of three. Now all we have to work with are our three dice and our imagination to try and keep things as simple as possible. So I'm thinking, as it's Christmas, we have a sort of Narnia scene. There's a snowy forest and uh, Bjorn and Watney are making their way down the path. Um, where are they going to? Are they going towards perhaps a village? <laughs> You're not helping. There we go. No, we're not going to a village. Hmm. Okay, perhaps they are going... Perhaps they're going home. No, they're not going home. Where are they going then? Hmm. Perhaps they're going to visit a friend who lives out in the woods. No! What are they doing? Um, perhaps they're going to do some work. Perhaps Bjorn is a woodcutter with his uh, axe there. Perhaps they're going to do that. Perhaps they're going to cut some wood. Two yeses and one no. Okay, they're heading out, and uh, Bjorn is a woodcutter, clearly, judging by their axe. And uh, they are making their way through the forest to the place where they're going to cut some trees. Now, obviously, we don't want a normal, everyday situation. We want uh, an adventure to happen. So we are going to ask, on their way to the uh, place where uh, Bjorn is going to carry on his lumberjack work, do we find someone asking for help? Yes, we do. We come across someone or something that uh, needs our help. And uh, Bjorn is always ready to uh, assist anybody. So uh, what could we see? Perhaps looking at the miniatures I have here, we have, um, we have a wild boar. So perhaps the wild boar boar of the miniatures that I happen to have handy is going to appear and ask for our, our companion's help. Um, perhaps uh, maybe some of his family have been kidnapped. Let's try that. That is a yes. So perhaps one of his piglets has been kidnapped. Um, is he male? We don't know. Might be a sow. Uh, yes, he is. He's a, he's a, he's a boy pig. And um, uh, one of his uh, piglets has been kidnapped. Uh, so Bjorn and Watney are very ready to help. And uh, we need to know um, where was the piglet last seen? Well, we're in a forest, so uh, perhaps there's a a stream going through the forest and the piglet was last seen near that. That is two yeses 
and one no, two pluses and one minus. So the piglet was last seen by the stream. So we're going to head down to the stream and see if we can find any trace. Now, as we come to the uh, edge of the stream here, it strikes me that the reason the um, the wart uh, the pig is asking for help is because he can't swim and uh, he knows that the piglets were taken across the stream by something. Um, Bjorn can probably swim and uh, I think Watney can ride on Bjorn's back as he swims across the stream. That makes sense. So um, Bjorn is going to uh, head into the stream and he's going to need to do a strength check as Watney climbs on his back. So his strength he gets a re-roll if he fails. So can Bjorn successfully make his way across the stream? That is three successes. He manages to swim across the stream with Watney. Now as uh, Bjorn and Watney arrive on the other side of the stream, we need to have a look around to see if uh, we can see any tracks of what may have happened to the piglets. Now, Watney has a skill of one. I think that's um, sort of a, a skill and tracking kind of uh, ability there. So uh, I think Watney's going to have a look, see if he can see anything. And he gets two pluses and one minus. So he, uh, more pluses than minuses. That's a yes, he can spot some tracks. Now, is this uh, other side of the stream still forested? Three pluses. Yes, it is. So we're still in a forest. So we need to think about um, where the tracks could be leading to. Are they perhaps leading to a, a cave in the forest, maybe? That is two pluses and one minus. We are leading towards a cave. Okay, so uh, I'm imagining that this cave is uh, under the roots of a giant tree, a rather forbidding looking tree. Perhaps there's something uh, sinister about it, but we are heading towards it. We are going to check with um, Watney is going to have a look round for any uh, possible traps or triggers or anything around the entrance. If there are any, he doesn't spot them. So there may be a trap that springs. Is there a trap? That is two pluses and a minus. That is a yes, a trap does spring. Now let's roll one to three, it gets Watney. Four to six, it gets Bjorn. It gets Bjorn, so he suffers one health damage from that trap, whatever it is. Perhaps some um, sharpened spikes spring out as he uh, walks through a piece of twine. And um, I think five health and three health for a psychic are, you know, arbitrary numbers that sort of sound right. So he gets hit by these spikes, uh, does Bjorn. And um, He's not happy about that. Thanks, Watney, for uh, not spotting that. So we head, after we've dealt with the trap, or been hit by it anyway, further in to the entrance of a cave. Now in this section, do we find a chamber? No. Two minuses and a plus. Uh, do we find a fork in the passage? Yes, we do. Okay. So we go here, we go here. Hmm. I think we will head. Can we, um, I think uh, Watney is going to do a check to see if he can still spot the trap, the tracks. And he gets a reroll on his skill. He can follow the tracks. So one to three, it's to the left. It's to the right, so we go this way because that's where we see the tracks are leading. And so do Bjorn and Watney come across a chamber here? 
That's two pluses and a minus, that's a yes. So what on earth is in this chamber? Is there somebody here we can interact with? Two pluses and a minus, that's a yes. And of the miniatures I have handy, I will grab my owlbear and uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll just quickly check. Uh, one to three, there are one exit, there is one exit from this room. Four to six, there's two. So one to three, there's just one other exit. So our owlbear has awoken. Is he friendly? Oh no. He's, uh, I'm thinking he's just woken up and he's really annoyed and flies into a rage as a lot of owlbears do. Now this monster is quite big. I was hoping we wouldn't, we wouldn't fight him, but I'm going to give him, um, say, a minion is the same as a sidekick, so that will be three health. This guy would have maybe, maybe even five health being an owlbear, which is a worry. So, um, yeah, that. Um, Bjorn is going to reluctantly have to fight this guy. He's going to charge in. He has a strength of one, remember, which means he can re-roll. He swings with an a his axe to hit the owlbear. That is a minus. He can get one re-roll to re-roll all his dice. And that is two successes. He does hit the owlbear. Now, I'm not sure I want Watney involved, but um, he, he could try and hit the owlbear. But yeah, he, he'll just have a quick go with his uh, bitey, bitey teeth. Try and hit the owlbear. Uh, that is two pluses, more minus. He does hit the owlbear. Okay. Um, Bjorn will attack again. That is two minuses and one success. That's not good enough. Uh, Bjorn would suffer damage, but he does get his reroll for his strength. And he does get two pluses. So the Albert suffers the one damage and Bjorn doesn't because he succeeds. And Watney is going to have another go. Oh, no. Watney is going to suffer one damage from the Albert, and he's going to perhaps stay out of the fight next turn. Uh, Bjorn will swing again with his mighty axe. That is two successes on his first roll, so he doesn't need to re-roll. And the Albert suffers another damage. We were hoping we wouldn't have to kill the Albert. And um, Watney will stay out of it, and Bjorn will attack again. That's bad, but he does get a re-roll. Cool. And that is two successes, at least. Who knows what the other one was. And so we managed to defeat the Albert. Well, we were hoping to try and get some answers from, from the Albert, but it did just launch and attack us. So can Watney spot any clues in this room no but he does have a, a skill of one so that means he can re-roll once and he gets two successes two pluses one minus so um he can spot something that gives us some kind of clue now will it be something that can um, help us defeat Hmm, I think that would be a bit um, pushing it. Can it tell us what kind of creature um, we will be facing? Yes. So we know, I think, looking at my miniatures, which I have by the side of me, I think I think it's going to be a troll. I think I'm going to use my uh, Dragon Roar troll. So it uh, fits with the uh, Dragon Roar theme I'm going with here. So we know it's a troll. Um, Bjorn has a um, an axe imbued with magical properties, so we can hurt the troll if it's a dragon roar type troll, which can only be hurt by magic. 
don't know why I'm bringing up Dragon Roll, but anyway. Um, so uh, we know that is who has kidnapped the um, uh, wild boar piglet. So uh, we need to uh, crack on before the troll eats the piglet. So we are heading off this passage. And um, yeah, do we mm, do we encounter anything dangerous through here? That's two minuses and one plus. So two no's basically. Uh, yeah, so this part is um, not dangerous. So does this um, next part lead to another chamber? No, that's very convincing. So is it a passage? No. Is it a another fork in the road, as it were? No, it's something different, something strange. Hmm. Not a, not a chamber, not a passage, not a split in the road. Is it like a um, a, a, a chasm, maybe that we've got across? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Okay, so there is an underground, um, there's a big hole in the ground, basically. So it's not a chamber as such, but um, we have to cross it because this just leads right down. And how are we going to cross it? We are but a giant hedgehog and a giant rat. Well, the first thing I thought of was that... Um, Bjorn could try and throw Watney across and then Watney could perhaps find a rope to uh, help uh, Bjorn across. So uh, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> what could go wrong? So he needs to roll a strength check to throw Watney successfully across and he just get a re-roll of course. So can we throw Watney across to the other side of the chasm? That's quite convincing. No. We do get our re-roll, thank goodness. That's another three minuses. We do not throw Watney successfully across. But can Watney use his skill to scrabble to some kind of safety? Yes, he can. So he is sort of, there's perhaps a route down here coming out of the earth that he's grabbed onto. That is really awkward. So I think um, Bjorn is going to rush back to the chamber where the owlbear was and have a rummage around to see if there's anything he can use as a kind of rope. So can he find anything useful like um, a vine or whatever? That is three successes. Yes, he can. So he finds a piece of vine. So he's going to throw it to um, Watney. Can uh, can he do that? Let's do a strength check to see if he can throw it all the way across. Oh no, he gets to re-roll though. Oof. No, he's sorry. That was a two. He's he still doesn't manage it. So. Um, he can't throw the rope to Watney. Okay, well he can always try again. I guess this is one of those uh, times we, um, when we need a um, a sort of limit. So um, we failed once. Now let's have an arbitrary. Perhaps that means that we can try again, but this route is starting to come adrift and we need to get Watney out before it, uh, before it does that. So how many more chances do we get before the route pulls away? 
six. Well, that's not so bad. So it's a bit over the top, really. But I'm not going to argue with the dice. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, seems seems a lot, but we did roll what we rolled. So uh, he will roll. As it seems a lot, I'm not going to... Mm. Okay, we'll just go with it. He fails. I'm not going to give him his re-rolls on this because six seems very generous. That is another failure. Oops. Another failure. Another failure. We have two chances left. Oops. That, we have one chance left to save Watney. We failed. I can't believe we failed six times. Seven times. The, the root gives way and Watney falls. And we don't know where he goes. He just falls into the chasm. That's terrible. We're going to have to go back and find another way um, and take the other fork that we didn't uh, follow where the tracks don't go and maybe we can find another way around. But we've, we've lost Watney. We don't know where he is. Look at the continuity. I was thinking uh, after the incident um, after Bjorn couldn't get across here and he was going to dash off and try and find another way. Obviously there's, there is a way across because the troll did it. And um, it's something the troll does probably every day. And so I wrote down how did the troll cross the chasm. And it sounds like, it sounds like a joke. So I'm thinking, well perhaps Bjorn has figured out that whenever the troll crosses the chasm, he has to tell a joke in order to conjure a magical bridge. So that's just what I thought when I wrote, how did the troll cross the chasm? So Bjorn is going to realise that and he's going to say, uh, how did the troll cross the chasm? Because it was tied to the chicken. Now. Let's see what the dice think of that. <laughs> we have one plus and two minuses, not good enough. Okay, um, how did the troll cross the chasm? Um, the troll crossed the chasm because it's um, because the uh, the billy goat was on holiday. See what the dice think of that. I need pluses. Oh yes, three pluses. They're like the fates, the dice like uh, jokes about goats. So <laughs> it conjures the bridge using the exact same method that the troll does, having to come up with a new joke every time it needs to cross the chasm. So Bjorn makes his way across to the next stage of the adventure. So we meet the troll at last with its um, piglet that it's kidnapped. Pignapped. Um, looks remarkably like its parent, but anyway. So Bjorn is going to command the troll to uh, hand over the piglet. And uh, I don't think the troll is going to buy that. So um, I think we're going to have to have a fight. Uh, the troll, being a boss, will have a health of uh, probably six. Now, what I'm thinking is, if you remember in Alien Resurrection, was it? Where um, the... Um, a character disappears and then reappears. No spoilers. And so um, we'll see if that happens with um, uh, Watney. We'll see if he's managed to climb his way back from somewhere down the chasm. 
No, he hasn't. So wherever he is, he's still there. <clears throat> so Bjorn has to face this troll on his own. That's a bit of a worry. But, um, yep, yeah, he's going to charge in. In for a penny, in for a pound. He's not giving up now after losing Orkney, apparently. We shall begin our final battle. Bjorn rolls his dice to hit. He does not hit. He scores one plus and two minuses, but he gets his one re-roll. And he does hit and doesn't take damage. So we roll again. <laughs> that is a miss again, but we take our re-roll in the second round. And we do take a hit. The troll wins that one. We don't manage to make our roll. Next round, we again miss, but take our re-roll. And we take another hit. Uh, Bjorn is going to appeal to the piglet to make a strike. So, um... Uh, will the Bjorn be able to encourage the piglet to overcome its fear? No. Um, oh gosh. Bjorn strikes again at the troll. A hit. Goodness. I've made the troll too tough, haven't I? We strike again in the next round. A magnificent hit. Battle continues, this titanic struggle. Oops, that's not a good one. We get to re-roll. Oops. Oh, that's horrendous. We're down to one. We are going to call out for another time. Watney, can you hear me? Watney can hear and finds his way to the chamber. Thank goodness. He climbs all the way back up from wherever, wherever he was. He launches an attack, just like a psychic should, at the uh, troll. Oops. And scores a hit. Perhaps we have enough just to finish it now. Um, Bjorn is really badly wounded. Um, yeah, I don't know. Ooh, it's a risk. You could die. Um, Watney, sorry, uh, Bjorn is going to sort of take a step back and let Rodney, what Watney, have another strike before he. Uh, gets engaged in the melee again. So the troll is facing Watney, who's just attacked. Bjorn is going to step back and Watney is going to have another go because he's in better shape. No, Watney takes the damage. Can we, Bjorn appeal to the piglet one last time? Yes, the piglet will <laughs> launch into the attack. It's overcome its fear and it scores a hit. The piglet will have uh, three health like a sidekick. So the troll is down to one and can Bjorn be the hero? Oh gosh, he gets his reroll. Please don't kill him now. Oh. Bjorn takes a glancing blow from the troll and falls. Watney attacks. Oh no. Watney is struck down by the troll. The piglet, <laughs> in a last ditch effort, Piglet takes a hit. Come on, it's Christmas. The piglet attacks again. 
that is a hit. The troll goes down. So can the piglet revive Bjorn? Can Bjorn make a strength roll? He gets his reroll, of course. Yes, Bjorn revives. And they both go over to help Watney. Can Watney make his strength roll? Oh, thank goodness for that. It was going to be a very bleak Christmas for a minute. So Watney makes his strength roll, roll and revives. Bjorn picks up the troll and throws him down the chasm. <laughs> I'll teach him. So we are able to take the piglet back and, and we just need to come up with one bizarre joke to try and make the uh, bridge reappear to get across the chasm. Um, why did the troll fall down the chasm? Because Bjorn threw him there. That's not a joke, but it'll work. So we create the uh, the bridge across the chasm. Let's say this is now the chasm. And our magic bridge appears. And we make it across back to the forest and return the piglet to its parents. Oh my goodness, that was stressful. So, with just um, some very simple rules and uh, a piece of blackboard and some chalk uh, or pen and paper, or whatever, um, it, it's very easy to uh, create a solo role playing thing out of nothing. You don't need to buy a, loads of books or anything. You can just think, I want to start off in something maybe like Narnia, maybe like uh, walking through a forest, you know. Uh, pick pick from whatever miniatures or counters you, you want to use and, um, you know, necessity being the mother of invention, you will you can say, oh yes, I have a, um, a guy with the head of an elephant and a penguin, so uh, they are going to go off on an adventure. Um, this will be my hero, this will be the sidekick, or the other way around, whatever. And uh, whatever other, mini other miniatures you might have lying around can... Um, give you the rest of your story, who they might want to in interact with. And uh, a very simple oracle, um, one to three is a minus, four to six is a plus. The more of one that you get decides what happens. So uh, is the chicken able to speak Spanish? No, the chicken cannot speak Spanish. Only one plus and two minuses, so that is a no. And uh, a very simple combat system. You just make a strength check. Um, that is a failure, three minuses. So when you fail your strength check, when you fight, you take a point of damage. If you make your strength check, uh, the opponent takes a point of damage. Um, minions have like three health. Uh, a big monster would have five, and maybe the boss has six. Um, your hero might have to start with five health. Your psychic might start with three. And um, each character that you play has a one in one of their skills here. So it could be the strength skill or knowledge or however you want to do it. Strength, agility, intelligence, whatever. Uh, and the one just gives you a re-roll. A bit like Fallout the board game. So if you fail, you can try one more time to try and catch your roll. And um, yeah, you can take it where you want. Uh, simple. You, simply using the um, little oracle to uh, make your choices um, is the next part of this adventure a passage? No, it isn't. Is it a chamber? Yes, it is. That kind of thing. So, uh, yes, very simple. Doesn't cost anything really. It's just based on the stuff you've got. Three ordinary dice and uh, away you go. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope to do some more stuff. Uh, over Christmas and very soon and uh, see you next time.